Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is set relative transform? I'm going to cover this node, but this is a pretty quick video. This is the last of our set relative helper nodes in terms of the fact that this isn't just a location, a rotation, or a scale, but this helps out by setting more than one at a time. And this one, of course, sets the transform. Our transforms consist of the location, rotation, and a scale, and this node allows us to set all three of them at once. So let's go ahead and look at how we might use it and just basically understand the parts of it. If you've done the relative location and rotation nodes, this is pretty simple. So it takes in a target of our scene component. Scene component, of course, is anything that has a transform basically as a component. So all of these would count as scene components. We're going to move our drawer, for example, and takes in a transform. We can also sweep and teleport, which we'll cover in a second. But let's check out our example. Our transform is, again, a location, rotation, and scale. I'm going to split out the location and the rotation, and plug these in, and then we're going to watch a problem. So there's my cabinet, and well, it should be translating the location and the rotation, but we see a bit of an issue there. My original item, my drawer, contains a scale of 0 0.9, 0 0.9, and 0 0.2, but because I'm setting a relative transform and that includes a scale, well, I'm basically setting my scale to 1. So I would need to make sure I have the correct scale when I'm using a transform setter. In this case, I've set it to my proper values and hit play. Now it's going to maintain this proper values. And you can see the location and the rotation happening. <clears throat> if you don't need the scale when you're doing this um, a setter for the relative, then use the location and rotation node, or just the location or just the rotation. But if you happen to need all three, make sure you set all three. And this node would basically be one instead of three separate nodes. And that's it. It's a helper node. It's set to combine three different nodes into one by putting in a transform. You have your sweeping and teleport, same thing as your other nodes. Sweeping allows um, collisions and overlapping. Rotation will not work properly when you are doing the sweeping, however your position will. Teleporting disables physics while you are teleporting, so that way Things don't go crazy and your physics system doesn't decide to, you know, send your character flying into space because you teleported them. And you have an output of a hit result if sweeping is set to true and it's going to give you a normal hit result. That's it. It's a helper node. It helps out if you need to do all three. And that's its intent and that's all it's good for.